Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about the secret ingredient I put in all of my colors to make it lean into a more mid-century modern color palette. To get started, I pre-mixed three of the tones within my existing color palette for us today. I wanna to show you what happens before and after we add the secret ingredient. Now, what is it? The secret ingredient is yellow oxide. I know, you're kind of disappointed, right? It's kind of hideous. It might be gross looking by itself, but know and trust that this will turn any color you're working with into a little bit more of that aged, antiquified tone. And what I mean by that is, sometimes colors straight out of the tube feel like they're just straight out of the tube. They have sort of like a kid's craft set kind of vibe. I like my colors to feel like they have been sitting around since the 50s and 60s. And the only way to do that is to try and simulate the fade and the aging process that happens to colors naturally. All right, so we're gonna start small. We wanna start small because we don't wanna overpower the color. We can't quite go backwards. Just keep mixing it in until all of that yellow oxide is thoroughly blended. Yeah, this feels much better. For the more pastel tones, I start extra small because that yellow oxide can really overpower quite quickly. And we just want it to be almost like there's a subtle filter on the color. Now the tone's much softer and it has that lovely aged look. For your red tones, you may find that you actually need to mix in more because the yellow oxide is from a relative color family. All right. Now we've got three tones ready to make some beautiful mid-century modern inspired art. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you find your secret ingredient in your color palette, and I'll see you next time.